inside Studio J. It's, it's buzzing a, with playoffs. It's like stuff. a real job now. It is a real job. It's a real fun job. What? Well, I wouldn't all see all. Oh, come on! Watch all those games tonight, man. This was. I good love stuff. watching games, but all I'm at home chilling. We, yeah. Hey, we working so much. I think I'm in Bristol. <laughs> not, 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 that's not even close. <laughs> uh, it's inside the NBA. It's presented by Kia. Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny Charles, highlights. Pelicans and Suns game two after Phoenix Man. took the opener 110 to 99. Devin Booker he, he wore the duty. But that, he wore the right to wear that sheet to, to the game today. Oh, without question. And this guy was on fire, too, man. But CJ McCollum. Well, he was on fire. There. What was Co what was Devin Booker? Uh, and, and what was Brandon Ingram before this game was over, too? Oh, yeah, Brandon yeah. Ingram connected there. Right. I bet Booker, Booker, man, I, this is, I'm so devastated right now. Mm. Um, Step you back so. Oh, my goodness. Three from the top of the key there, and then. Mm. Oh, man, look at that. That's just ridiculous. Ooh. That's a groove shot. Oh, six, oh that, that's, that's priceless 16 right 16 in the first quarter. Maybe too young to be at that game, ain't it? No. It's kind of oh, no take their kids to the game? It's early there, Chad. It was six months. Very <laughs> <laughs> good gauge of I mean, You don't know, remember when you, when you were six months and you was pointing at Sharif in yeah. the stands when y'all were? Yeah. from the logo. No, no, Sharif is in the suite. Just for the record, if you had all your kids, you had more like a whole section. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Ingram gets that to fall. Oh, come on. Uh, this was a great game. This was a great Man, I'll tell you, Brandon Ingram down the stretch was amazing. Oh, good pass. Jackson Hayes he ahead played of the well pack. Too. He oh, played well, too. It was after that play that Devin Booker left mm. with tightness in the right hamstring. Mm. Ingram there. Oh, go on, Cam. Cam Johnson with the steal. Mm. Oh, you better get oh, out of the way. Oh, Phoenix got the 96-95 This lead. was a heck of a game. Man, they went back and forth. McCollum. They hit about five or six threes in a row, didn't they? Yeah, back and I forth. mean, both teams. Yeah, exactly. They were just throwing haymakers Oh, man, show some of my son's threes, guys. Well, oh, this, this, this here is we go, here half. we go. No, this is it. No, this is it. They hit like three. That's one. Yeah, this but the ball hits that three. Uh, then he comes down and they, they hit another one right here. Yeah, but enough, he came enough, right yeah. here. Yeah. Turn back. Bang, bang. A 28 to 16 finish for this game for the uh, that, Pelicans. That, that's the, the story war. of the night right there. Yep. The, well, the stories are the series is tied up at a game apiece. 125-114. New Orleans behind the 37 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists of Brandon Ingram. And after Devin Booker scored 31 in the first half, sitting with that uh, Man, that's tightness in the right hamstring, and that's all we know. That's devastating. At this point. See the we'll check the severity of that injury, but yeah, this is uh, this is a story. This is a hey, major story. Hey, shout out to the yeah. Pelicans and uh, those guys, man. But the the Suns cannot win the championship without Devin Booker. This dude had 31 points in the first half. In the first half, and didn't score again. That lets me know, like, this is something, because like you guys know, we're gonna gut it out during the playoffs. Let's go to Monty yeah. Williams yeah. live. Let's see what uh, he's got to say. Coach, we got word, obviously, Booker with the right mm -hmm. hamstring tightness. Mm -hmm. did, did you notice it during that third quarter, him maybe even slowing down? Did he even come to you? No, I think it happened on one play um, when he was trying to track down someone in transition. And um, that, that's where I think it happened. Um, but other than that, we don't have much else to say about it. But it, it is a hamstring issue. What? Just, I mean, not just in the quick short term of just thinking about the fourth quarter without him, mm -hmm. what changed you felt like? The transition defense. That, that was probably, um, for us, the worst we've ever looked in transition since I've been here. And for that to happen in a playoff game was a bit unsettling for everybody. But um, our guys have to understand that this team is going to play hard every possession. And we saw it in the third quarter. They just we missed a shot, they were taken off, and uh, that was a bit deflating. Um, but that was the change in my eyes, and then they got hot from three. Um, but the transition defensive balance wasn't there um, at any level tonight for us. And then we get, you talked about Landry being ready. Mm -hmm. What did you think about how he played? I thought, he was, I thought he was really good um, to be able to come in and, 
attack the basket that way and then knock down a three out of a timeout. Um, and he's a guy that's going to stay ready. I mean, we've, we've been in this situation before where Book or Chris have been out. Now we've got to make that adjustment. Um, but it, it's going to start with playing with a great level of intensity in every area. I thought we handled the offensive rebounding a lot better tonight, but then we took a step back and transitioned. And so we just got to put it together. Monty, on those. So Monty Williams uh, telling us all we know, all he knows right now about Devin Booker's situation, and that is a right hamstring issue. And so we'll wait and see uh, the severity of that. But you guys know as players that that is a. You never want to hear hamstring. Yeah. Yeah, you never want to hear hamstring. It's unfortunate, but it doesn't happen. But if this is the player right here. I think he was chasing down Jackson Hayes. Hustling, getting back, and listen, he landed awkwardly and right there, just got tight. You can see him grab it, but, you know, hopefully massage, treatment, rest, some of that icy hot, man up. <clears throat> He'll be able to get back. Kenny and Chuck is discussing whether he should play the next game or the next two games. Yeah. I hope he doesn't have to sit out, but this is very unfortunate. Well, I, and, and you knew, and you saw him right there when he raised his hand as soon yeah. as he turned he knew around it. right there. And, you know, and everybody knows, when you have a hamstring, it can feel great and then can go any second once it gets fatigued. And it, it sucks because, the, especially when he's playing like he was playing tonight. I mean, 31 points and a half is really impressive. And you try and listen. Shout out to the Pelicans; they were great. But yeah, let's let it, let yeah. us shout out the Pelicans yeah, they, right they now. They were awesome. All but, all that they did well the, in this game. But the story's gonna be Devin Booker because, listen, nobody thinks the Pelicans are gonna win the championship, but the Suns have the best record in the NBA. And to lose your best player, man, they're in shock right now. On to New Orleans. 37, 11, and 9 for Brandon Ingram. McCollum with 23. Valanchunas, another double-double. They out-rebound the Suns by 10. Again, they dominate the boards. Second chance points, 15 to 9. Fast break points, 16 to 9. And, and a, again, when you look at a game in the fourth quarter, in the other guy's gym, and a team that plays so well as Phoenix does, but, man, there was just no panic. There was, <clears throat> they just didn't blink in the face of those back-and-forth threes. You know, playoffs is all about how you respond. Of course, everyone is picking Phoenix to win, but they respond to well. Brandon Ingram showed me something tonight. I've been waiting for him to say, give me the damn ball and move out the way, especially in the fourth-quarter situation. He played great. Now, the question is, can you take it to the crib and do the same thing? Phoenix is going to respond. You know, they, they haven't lost uh, more than two games in a row. I forget the streak, but, you know, they, they don't like losing two games, so, so they're definitely going to respond with or without Devin Booker. But Brandon Ingram showed me something tonight. He was so hot that CJ was like, no, no, you ain't taking no rest. Go back down to the block. You know, they're running the pick and roll, and I was impressed by Brandon Ingram. He made a name for himself tonight, if he can be consistent in a player like this. You know, I, I noticed something in that game about Chris Paul, too. And, and, and I don't know... I, I noticed some when I got older in my career, I couldn't sustain, couldn't, couldn't sustain. I could have a really good game, but then I was tired the next couple games once you get past your prime. And I thought tonight he tried to take over. He missed a couple little bunnies in the lane that he normally makes. And I'm just saying, when you get older, like the other night he says, I, I felt us being stagnant. Like tonight would have been a night for him to take over, but I could tell he didn't have it tonight. And that's what happens when you get older. You don't, uh, it sucks getting older when you're trying to play a sport because you can't do what you normally do. Jet, way in here. Well, I think overall, if you look at the Pelicans, uh, it wasn't as much as the, it was, it was great the second half, but more impressive to me was the first half because the way Devin Booker played and they were still in the game. So to me, that was the, moment that you said they may pull this out this is before the hamstring uh to be that close with Devin Booker having 31 points in the first half and you know the, the crowd going crazy everyone's excited the bench is high-fiving and you look up and score it's a one two-point game so to me that was the maturity that they had and the one thing that you can do possibly against Phoenix when they do go small you're going to get your shot off same thing if you play Golden State. You can get your shot off, but normally you can't outshoot them. And because Devin Booker goes down, now you outshoot them in a game like this.
Hey, let's, uh, Ali LaForce is uh, working overtime for us. And uh, Ali, what else uh, can you tell us about Devin Booker? Well, the team is going to continue to evaluate him tonight, and that will most likely include an MRI. The team is traveling tomorrow. They're not practicing. They'll get back to us as soon as they can with the results for that MRI. But we think we located the play it happened on. Devin Booker was racing down the court as the Pelicans were in transition. He was going to block a transition bucket, and you can just see it on his face. He reaches back. He grabs the right side. He grimaces. That, we are pretty sure, is the moment. And Monty Williams references that moment in his press conference, which you guys were able to hear live. He does have a history of the hamstring issues, but previously in December, from December 2nd to December 16th, he missed seven games, but it was his left hamstring. This is his right, and they're calling it right hamstring tightness. The team went five and two in those games. They know that they can win without him, but obviously in the postseason, it gets a lot harder. Now they have to go on the road. This team also has a winning record in the games where Chris Paul didn't play this season, so they've preached all year the next man up mentality, and this will be a huge Huge test to see if that comes true. Allie, thank you very much for uh, wrapping a bow around that story, and we can, we'll just be keeping our eyes on it over the next uh, 24 hours.